Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in the last React with the Redux video tutorial, we complete the flow of Redux, and uh, at the last we get that on a uh, click to, uh, click on this add to cart button, we get the data in the action. Then this data just go to the reducer. Then this data just flow to the home as in props, and the props name is data, and it have some uh, nested object like uh, cart items, and then. Uh, uh, card data and in this video we will see that why this uh, nested components are done here and the second thing on the add to cart we will just get the added item on this uh, over this icon right so that we just get to know that how many items are added in our bucket so let's say i just click on the 10 time on the add to cart that means we just added the 10 items and we will show the count here like similar to the any e-commerce website so if you just uh, at the 10 items or 12 items and then cart uh, will show the total count here right so first of all uh, just move this let's uh, see the points of this uh, of this video we will just uh, make a little bit style here so that we can just uh, show the count here then uh, we will just push the multiple items in the cart and we will show the count here right very simple so let's just go to the home.js and let's uh, make a span here and in the span first of all let's show some dummy data like uh, 10 or 5 whatever we want you want then you will see that we get the item here because uh, the style is a little bit different of that item so now let's uh, let's add some items position style here like position can be absolute then right can be like uh, 20 and uh, set index can be like uh, 1 and top can be similar to 20 pixel and uh, now just add a background color red padding 5 pixel with 10 pixel height again 10 pixel right so if you just want to increase that that we can increase but for a moment we don't need it so just leave it and uh, just increase a padding here a little bit like this right and uh, let's make a radius border so let's add the border radius like uh, 50 percent right then I think we need to add the mm -mm, some style here I'm not good at the style but and let's add the color also so just add a color white so just get this style from here to the CSS file and let's open the app dot css and let's add here and put this class name like dot cart count right go to the home and uh, just add it like class name right all right so now just go to the reducer and uh, uh, just make a little bit change to push the multiple item right so let's open the reducer here and I'm just going to make it blank so that we can push the multiple items and uh, on the return let's make it array right and let's close it and array also uh, 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 my bad And let's make a object to it now let's uh, what I need to do one more thing that let's go to the home container and uh, just add here dot uh, card items so that uh, we are just able to see this uh, small hierarchy here because we don't need it much for a moment so let's just simply add here and at the home just just put here props dot 
data right and uh, now let's see that what we are just getting on it right so we got the two items here and for more clarity you can just comment the all other things like actions log and uh, reducers log right so now what we are getting here like first of all we have the blank because there is a no item added in the home now there's one two and three items and all right so now let's make it uh, uh, just write it here so that go to the home and just get it from here to here use the braces and just put here props dot data dot length and uh, length will show the count of it right and now we are actually get like get the item like this right you can see here like how many items we have we can just show it here so uh, now we are able to just uh, add the item to the our bucket and in the next video i will just make the this one is a separate component because uh, now we have the same component here and we don't know that how we can just send the data to the another component from one component so uh, I will just make a header component which is different to the this home component and we will pass the data from uh, this home component to header right so thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care